everyone, it's Nicole from KenHub, and welcome to our tutorial on the nerves of the nasal cavity. In this tutorial, we're going to be looking at all the nerves shown on this image of the nasal cavity, which, as you can see, has a bit of the nasal septum turned upwards around here, the lateral wall of the nasal cavity just here, the sphenoidal sinus, and the maxilla with some of the upper teeth down here. And as we go through the nerves, we'll just point out a few other structures here and there. And of course, after talking about these nerves at the end of the tutorial, we'll also go over some relevant clinical notes. But first, before we get on to the nerves of the nasal cavity, we're just going to begin with a little bit of a chat about the nasal cavity's function. So we're just going to begin with our image of our mid-sagittal section of the skull. And here we can see the nasal cavity as we saw it above, as well as the bones of the skull. And we might as well point them out while we're here. So our frontal, parietal, temporal and occipital bones. And the nasal cavities are two paired cavities found on either side of the nasal septum. And these cavities begin at the nares or the nostrils and end at the pharynx. And the nasal cavity has three main functions, the first of which being its ability to warm, humidify and filter air as it enters the nares. And this ability to warm and filter the air is due to the hair and mucus lining of the internal walls of the nasal cavity, which remove allergens from the air before it passes into the lungs. The nasal cavity also holds the organ that holds the receptors for the sense of smell, the olfactory epithelium, contributing to its second function. And finally, the nasal cavity also produces mucus, which, as I just mentioned, helps filter the air entering the nose. So let's have a brief look at the anatomy of the nasal cavity. And as I mentioned earlier, we each have two nasal cavities, each separated from each other by a nasal septum. And the nasal septum, which is pointed out by the green arrow just here, is made of septal cartilage as well as two bones of the skull. And these two bones, which are the voma and the ethmoid bone, can't be seen in this image, but they would be located behind the mucosa that appears to be covering the bones and the cartilage. And these two bones also descend and arise from the cribriform plate, the maxilla and the palatine bone, which are bones of the skull. The nose, as we can see in the image, is separated from the mouth by the hard palate, which is also formed by parts of the maxilla and palatine bone, and is highlighted in green. This video is not over yet. Continue watching now the full video at KenHub.com. We have lots more videos like this one available to our premium members on our website, not to mention all the fun quizzes, related articles, and atlas sections. So click on the button in the middle to watch the full-length video and master anatomy.